Hi, this is Gil Robles, and I'm back, and as I promised, I said I was going to go over this uh, grayscale painting demonstration that I had did before, and um, and color it, and show how I would color this. Now, before, when I uh, used to color my pieces, what I normally would do was go into, I would add a, a layer, and I would... Uh, lower the opacity on that layer and I would begin to I would choose a brush and I would begin to go ahead and work and in that way lay over like what would be a glaze um, and that was okay for for a time but what happens was that you know when you increase the opacity you see what you're doing is you're introducing new brush strokes and so forth and uh, uh, even if I were to use uh, this which uh, this brush here which is a normal uh, paintbrush that you have no brush strokes or no fanciness or whatever you still um, you, while you're not introducing a new brush stroke it's like when you oh I see I had it on low opacity right here when you you're you're uh, you're uh, you, you're adding to it in the sense that it's it's a uh, you know you 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 uh, you you are adding brush strokes in in the sense but um, what I'm going to do however is clear this layer right and I'm going to introduce uh, I'm going to change the layer to an overlay now, doesn't matter what opacity you have, what happens is that it just simply colors it and you don't lose your your brush strokes underneath. You don't use your values. See with the other one you 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 also lose your values. Um, you don't lose your values. And this is at uh, I didn't change the opacity. This is at the regular opacity. So what you're what you're doing is you're glazing over the painting now what I'm going to do is that I'm going to go over this and just go over the whole thing right, let me just do a little bit uh, see so, you know you gotta adjust there that's something with with uh, with a color and um, so that way I have a foundation to build on now what I'm going to and it doesn't matter if you go over your your painting you can come back in and erase those lines um, so you don't have to worry about going beyond uh, the borders of the painting or these brush strokes so already I have a uh, color laid down now I, I uh, use this eraser it does and you can adjust the amount erased so I don't want it to be too hard or whatever and, um, and so there you have it that is my uh, first layer and um, I use this brush at full opacity because it doesn't matter at least not yet okay so now I didn't touch the hair I didn't add color to here because what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead add another layer overlay and what you can do is you can change the color temperature and then uh, introduce Oh, yeah. Now, that color is so dark that it is covering up some of the brush strokes. So, let me lower that, the, the, the uh, opacity here. And uh, also, in this layer, what I can do is introduce 
some darker color now I can change the opacity on my brush too and the problem with that is that uh, actually that's fine I thought it might uh, you know how when you lay down a color and then you go back over it it's a different value one might be the second passes would be darker and I thought that's what it might do but it didn't do that so this is fine uh, huh. and so I start to darken in some of the areas here and so what this does it's 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 like glazing uh, an oil painting where you're just adding a glaze of color and really not too much disturbing the brush strokes underneath or the value it stay the value remains the same what you change is the color and uh, so this is just a neat way of, of coloring where you you've done all the hard work ahead of time when you did the drawing you put down the you put down your brush strokes you put down well more importantly you put down your values and you put down your brush strokes you got the drawing done and and so the only thing you're doing here is concentrating on color and that is you know uh you you're playing with uh like let me introduce some uh, like if I go to add another layer and I go ahead and do the overlay and I come down on the opacity I can start adding uh, some some uh, s some cooler tones here as well as dark in some areas and uh, that way I begin to build up my painting and if I wanted to see how I'm changing the color there and these little little well, let me make that a little bit more bluer See how you, I, I'm changing the color here, so that I'm adding some cool tones to this painting. And again, it's not changing the brush strokes. I can go ahead. Uh, and no, I don't want that. That's too okay. It's too something. And what you do as you go on, you're building up the richness of the color, as well as changing the temperature of the color. too red. I don't want it to jump too much. So. It's, it, it's a and again, I, I, I said before, there's a point in this way it becomes where you get beyond the hard work and it starts to become fun. That's not to say that the painting is perfect, but um, but you've made it easier by by uh, by taking care of some things early on. Now I'm doing the smudge brush here because see it's not changing the um, it's not changing the, 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 the brush strokes underneath 
What it is changing, however, is the, um, the, the way the color melds into one another. So, and, and then what you can do is, of course, you can have a layer where you use normal and you choose a different brush and you can make some, any adjustments that you see, that you think you feel like you need, uh, like I need to soften that a bit. I also need to go in here and soften this area a bit. Uh, and in here, soften that. Maybe I need to go a little bit darker here. And, you know, you can make your adjustments as you go along. And also make some changes. Like I see, it's, uh, you get some cool over here. cut into there with um, some cooler colors and uh, See, so little by little, you're building up on the foundation that you've already placed. And you can also introduce some grays. I can, I can open this up a little bit more and uh, that's interesting. You know you can start picking on the little nuances. And working more and more to now, this also goes beyond uh, what I intended for this channel a bit because it's, uh, this becomes more painting and less sketching. And uh, for this, because I promised it for this one uh, video, that'll be okay. But I think for the most part, I'm going to stick to my idea of... Uh, sketching and uh, when it comes to this uh, channel okay just a little bit grayer and but I'm also keeping it loose not trying to get too much into the detail and um, you're going to catch me saying that a lot and then breaking that rule a lot too because it's a habit that I have and I am trying to break out of and that maybe that's another reason why this uh, idea of a sketch channel is so good because then I can focus on um, sketching and staying loose and not 
getting too overly carried away with the details. So, and maybe what I can do is since this is a uh, not a painting channel um, but a sketch channel is that I won't allow myself to go but so far see now I'm using uh, the normal layer so you you're I'm introducing new brush strokes whereas before when I was just using the overlay there were uh, no new brush strokes it was just um, just going over with color what was already down there um, but this is okay because with this, I, you know, I can make corrections and, uh, so it's a, like a little going back and forth with, uh, the, the, the layer editor here and choosing how I use my layers. To best advantage. And, uh, and you know, with the um, with this uh, opacity on this layer being as low as it is, it's also a little bit like glazing, even though I am I am introducing new brush strokes. Um, but it's not like it's not uh, overdone you know I'm not cover I'm not obliterating what I've already done underneath I'm making some adjustments to it I'm also, as I go along, adjusting the layer properties. And like I said, very hard to paint and talk at the same time. I'm trying to. Um, but you know what? Um, as I go ahead and do this, uh, I also want to invite people to go ahead and, and uh, leave comments. Let me know what you think about this uh, video. Uh, let me know what you think about the channel let me know if you think it's uh, it's informative or it's not or just uh, give me some feedback you know and uh, so I think what I'm going to do is add another layer and uh, introduce some uh, more opaque color here okay.
and uh, right away I'm starting to get into uh, getting too carried away right here so I'm going to back off in a little while just to keep this as a sketch I'm not trying to like I said before in my other videos not trying to do too much right now just uh, just enough to keep the feeling of the sketch at the same time to uh, get across this idea of coloring now um, you know coloring a, a, a grayscale image Opening up some areas over here. So, and as I said, this is going to be it. And just a few more brush strokes. I'm going to call it a painting. And, uh, not talking too much am I well that's okay it's almost done anyway so yeah I guess uh, it's like when I'm, I'm this is a lot like when I'm painting And I'm all by myself. I, I uh, do a lot of humming and half sentences and stuff like that and never finish. But I, I gotta realize that I'm speaking to an audience. Okay. So that's it. Basically, I'm, I'm gonna leave it here. And the minute I say that, I uh, see there's something else I want to correct. But I, I'm. And that, that, those are just little nu nuances. And so it's not really all that important but um i'm going to leave it like right about there and say and call this a painting and uh see call this a painting right and uh stop right here and um And so there you have it. It's uh, how I would color now using the overlay uh, layer and layer editor as well as using uh, the normal layer and adjusting the transparency. Again, if this video was helpful, please leave comments and uh, there will be more videos like this. I hope you enjoy the channel and uh, uh, come back and subscribe. Subscribe to this channel and you will be posted on uh, the new videos as I post them, okay? You will be told about the new videos as I post them. So uh, thank you, bye-bye.